story, but my second story, the one that's kind of fresh, fresh this year, is called My Name is Victoria. I shall tell you an, uh, uh, an, uh, a secret adult-related fact now. The original title of the story was Miss V. Mm -hmm. Miss, and then the letter V. Don't put that into a search engine. <laughs> <laughs> there had to be quite an abrupt and subtle, sudden uh, uh, title change at the last minute. And the, re the reason I was uh, instantly knew that this is something I wanted to write about is because uh, Queen Victoria was born at Kensington Palace. And this is another story that, uh, as curators, we've done a lot of research into. I can, you know, take you in her footsteps for a lot of the key dates of her, of her life, particularly the day on which, aged 18 and three weeks, she came to the throne. It's extraordinary to think of an 18-year-old girl in charge of us all, isn't it? Whoa, would you want an 18-year-old girl in charge of us all? Whoa, not quite sure about that. Anyway, um, the background to this particular story is this very curious uh, way in which she grew up which is a real thing, this is documented, a real thing, that was called the Kensington system. What was the Kensington system? It was a particular way of uh, bringing her up that would protect her from the ambitions, as they were seen, of her wicked uncles and her cousins. Now, the royal family at this particular time was quite complicated. George III, do you remember, nice George III, everybody likes George III. George III, by the 19th century, uh, had retreated from the world. People used to say he'd gone mad. Today we believe he had bipolar disorder. And he became quite a recluse and was living at, Ken at Windsor Castle in a room full of hobsichords, actually. Mm -hmm. It's rather touching to hear about how he used to talk about the time when he was in the world, as if he was no longer in the world. He was just at Windsor Castle with his hobsichords. Anyway, George III had done his duty as king. He had, what, his, <laughs> he had produced 15 children. Essential, top of the list. You've got to produce a lot of children uh, to continue the royal family. The trouble was that the 15 children had <coughs> not done their duty. So the six sons of George III had managed between them to produce 45 illegitimate children. <laughs> But none of them had got married properly to proper princesses and produced the next generation, with one exception. Uh, the future George IV, who would become the Prince Regent. He's the ridiculous Hugh Laurie character from Blackadder, if, you, <laughs> if that, those are your terms of reference. They, they are mine. Anyway, George IV had eventually decided that he really ought to marry a proper German princess. Uh, because if he did that, Parliament would increase his allowance. And he had all these debts, you see. So he wrote off to Germany for a male order bride, which is what you did if you were a Georgian monarch. And along came poor old Caroline of Brunswick. Caroline of Brunswick arrived in England. She looked at this man she was about to marry and said, Whoa, he wasn't that fat in the portrait they showed me. <laughs> and he said, Oh, I don't like the look of you. Uh, bring me brandy, please. And it all went horribly wrong. They did manage to produce a daughter, the Princess Charlotte. But she, when she was just 21, died in childbirth. I can see people are mouthing along to this. This is a very well-known, very tragic story. It was called the Triple Obstetric Tragedy. Because not only did she die, not only did her unborn son die, but also the doctor who was looking after her got such a lot of stick, so much grief, so much criticism, that he later shot himself. So the Triple Obstetric Tragedy kicked off quite a crazy sort of thing that became known as the baby race. And in order to produce the next generation of the royal, of the royal family, these six royal dukes that you see on the chart here, they all did get married to proper German princesses and they tried to be the first to produce uh, babies. So when Queen Victoria 